Welcome to my patio. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chara. If this is your first time here, I am a mommy blogger and I make entrepreneurship and lifestyle videos. In today's video, I am finally doing my patio makeover reveal. It's been a couple of months since I first started on it, but today I'm going to be giving you guys a full tour, letting you guys know where everything is from. So yeah, let's just jump right into the video. but these were pillows that I already already had in my house um, that I originally got from Ikea this one and this green one here um, and but all these pillows I sprayed with um, all of the pillows are sprayed with scotch guards just kind of prevent water stains and things like that so we'll see how they hold up to the weather um, it, this fabric is also washable there you go moving on to the chairs now these are the full Adirondack chairs they were on sale at Lowe's I got two of them they were on sale for $14.99 and I knew that I wanted like a blue kind of lime theme that was what I was lime green theme that was the what I was going for as far as the pillows I also got 
this fabric from Joanne Fabrics and um, we covered pillows that I already had in the home. So as far as the total price of the fabric, I spent about $24 on that. The chairs were $14.99 each and um, the spray paint was $9. Now, this item here, this I got from Home Goods. It was $29.99 and I just thought it was a nice addition to the patio here. The next piece of furniture I purchased was this coffee table and I actually um, bought this on OfferUp. I just wanted something small and something outdoor, outdoorsy that would fit the space. Um, this actually came in a gray color and I also spray painted this white. This was $30. The last little thing that I purchased, um, I also got this from Old Town Pottery. This is a plant hanger. I think this was, mm, I think, $19.99. I'm probably lying. I don't remember the exact price, but it was affordable. And I, this plant is from Home Depot. I hope that you will enjoy the space and just know that, you know, patio DIY things don't ha does not have to be expensive. Huh. Damn it, Jalen did it again. <laughs> DIY patio, you know, when you're making things over and you're doing little projects, it does not have to cost you a fortune. Overall, I probably spent about $60 on this entire project and I'm so happy with the way it came out. I basically just used mostly of what I had in the home. I, I saved a lot of money on the pillows because I already had those in the house. I just recovered them. That would have been what I think that that would have been the most priciest part of this. I also lucked out by getting this sofa, this love seat for free. People are always throwing things out that they think that, you know, that they don't want anymore. So this was a great find. This is a real wood love seat, real wood wicker love seat, not plastic. Like this is the real deal. So I really got lucky in that aspect. But I'm sure if you live in a neighborhood or if you like to go thrifting, you could also find affordable items that you can make over and make them look brand new. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one.